As Hawaii's Kilauea volcano continues its unstoppable path of molten destruction, scientists have identified a new phenomenon plaguing residents on the Big Island, huge lava balls. But what are they exactly? The USGS, the United States Geological Survey, tweeted a time-lapse video on Saturday showing lava balls chugging towards the Pacific Ocean from Fisher 8. Also known as lava boats and lava bergs, these balls of lava sit above the main flow. The USGS explained, rafts of accrete lava move downstream and look like boats moving downriver. These are termed lava balls or lava boats and form when portions of Fisher 8 cone or levees break away and are rafted downstream. As they move along the channel, additional lava can cool to their surface to form lava balls. While they may be less hot than burning rivers below, lava balls are hazardous as they can block the lava flow and divert into new areas. This potentially means new land being scorched along the lower east rift zone, an area already submerged by 6,144 acres of lava since it, the eruption began back on May 3rd of this year. The spatter cone from Fisher 8 is now 180 feet high, according to the USGS latest estimates. Lava fountains are still spurting from the fissure, but rarely above this level. Now, one welcome bit of relief for locals was Hawaii Volcano Observatory's decision to downgrade its current color alert level to orange on Sunday. Eruptions continue to rock Kilauea's summit, and fissures show no signs of slowing, but Hawaii Volcano Observatory justified its decision. In a statement, the observatory said, since late May, these collapsed explosion events have rarely preceded significant ash plumes rising more than 10,000 feet above sea level, where they can pose a significant hazard to aviation. For this reason, HVO is reducing the aviation color code from red to orange. Orange still means ash plumes can spread across the Big Island, impacting communities and being hazardous to health. The latest air quality levels are good, except for in Mountain View on the Big Island's east side, where they are moderate. Now, an explosion at Kilauea Summit on Sunday was equivalent to a 5.3 magnitude earthquake, experts said. County officials warned people to stay indoors in the recent aftermath due to volcanic ash and steam filling the air. Residents were also advised to check their water system afterwards to ensure it was not impacted.